Think of insects and reptiles, total instinct. As unique as they are, they blindly go about their business following instinctive programming. Suddenly they sense other movements. This can be a lifesaver if that other movement is a predator or some other form of danger. Most species wouldn't exist today if not for this stress response. This psychophysiological mechanism for triggering the stress response is a leftover from the evolution of ego. But you are not your ego. Life as you know it would be impossible without your ego. You can function in time and space because you have an ego or reference point. For example, walking, catching a plane, and communication are made possible by the ego. But there's a catch. Your ego is a construct of your mind. When you identify with your thoughts and emotions, you confuse the ego for who you are. You're capable of consciousness far beyond that of the reptiles. While there has been an evolution of the ego and intelligence, there must be an evolution of consciousness.